We all know that Americans sometimes get their English culture mixed up a little bit. So we're going to test our resident American, Mr. Jack Edwards, to see whether he can decipher whether these pieces of British culture, English culture, are Scouse or Mank. For an American, I think I have a, an above average knowledge of the sport of football, but in terms of the, the English culture, it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a little dodgy. So in the first round, we will be testing Jack's music knowledge. Is the band or the artist that we play from Liverpool or Manchester? This is Scouse. See, in my head, I just have a burning image of Maddie just being furious with me if I get one of these wrong. So I have so much pressure on my back right now. I'm beginning to listen. So, so you've, you've given me some more information beyond just the, like the, the music, you know? It's like, you said that you like them, they're one of your favorite bands. So would you love a, a, a Manchester-based band? I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes. It's Mank. Oh god. Oh god. Now I now I now I hear the strum. I believe I've gotten a good enough read. It definitely has a different feel, I think, than the other two. Um, I think it's not not grungier. I'm I'm trying to sound like a music <laughs> aficionado. I should stick to football, Foot, honestly. This is from Manchester. Have you uh, you ever watched um, those Ted Lasso shorts for NBC? Not at all, mate. No idea. Because oh, yeah, Jason Tudekis, who's an actor, he pretended to be the Tottenham coach yeah, yeah. Um, for these NBC like ads. And there was one point where he was like, that player's from Wales. And he's like, how many countries are in this country? <laughs> <laughs> this is great banter. It really is. See, I, I, I went with the actually thinking about it approach last time and thinking about it's a bit more rock. Um, I don't know. That's probably the wrong term to use because, I mean, obviously the Beatles came from, from Liverpool, right? So it's like... Um, Because it had a mixture, you know? It, it had a mixture of those first two songs. It had a mixture of the last one, which is kind of a blend, you know? I don't know if you're purposely trying to pick these songs so it's, like, tough for me to actually gauge, like, the musical qualities of them. I'm gonna... I, I think if you had asked me the first 15 seconds, I would have said Manchester, but, like, they added some some different, like, more almost Liverpool sounds. I'm gonna go Scouse. Now, this song is actually a famous song which gets used to get chanted in the crowd at a certain club for a certain manager. I have, I have no idea the manager or the, the, the club that would be chanting it, but I'm going to assume it's a Manchester-based club. I'm going Manchester. So there we go. So Jack has absolutely smashed it. How do you do at home? Let us know in the comment section. Before you do go into the next section, though, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go get us, boys, to 800 subscribers. That's the way forward. So we are going to go to the second round, which is going to be phrases. So I'm going to give you, like, I think it's about eight or nine phrases. And this has been collated by the main man, Matty. And uh, he's going to be basically deciding which of these uh, is Scouse and Mank. General greeting, now then. What's happening? <laughs> Scouts or Mank? Oh, I think this is just easy. I watched the Diogo Jota intro. Uh, what What's happening is Scouse. And I've heard the other one already, but Manchester. Friend, Koch, me mate, Scouts or Mank. Are you, are you insinuating that? Not all of England says mate. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I, again, I'm going to use the Maddie test. I don't think I've ever heard that man say cock. I'm going to go mate for Scouse. Cock 
for me, Manchester. Chewing gum, chuddy, or chewy, scouse or mank? Chewy, chuddy. I don't know. I, I, I can't really reason with this one. Uh, I'm going to go chewy is scouse and chuddy is mank. Bobbins, grim, nah, scouse or mank? God, you know if if you had done this test for me before uh, I had met Maddie, I I have these would be coin flips. Grim <laughs> Scouse, Bobbin, Mank. I hear Maddie say it's Grim all the time. Uh, it's it it's might be the word he says the most, honestly, honestly. Something you like a lot, mad for it, lad. That's fucking heavy. Scouse or Mank. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, literally all I'm doing in my head is just, have I heard him say this? Would he say this? I think I'm going to go heavy is Scouse. Oh, so the final round, I'm going to send you three pictures of buildings that are either from Liverpool or from okay. Manchester, okay? So, I, I don't know if I've ever told you this, Chris, but I, I play... Um, I, lo I love the Civilization games like Civ 5, Civ 6. I've played hundreds of hours of those. And Big Ben is one of my favorite wonders to build. I can't tell if that's Big Ben. I'm pretty sure Big Ben's in London. I may be completely disgracing myself now, but that that's a, that's a, it's a big-ass clock. And if I see a big-ass clock in England, I have no idea where it is now. My entire perception of geography has been, been ruined. Because I've been to Liverpool, but I haven't been to Manchester. I'm trying to think. I think it's similar to the Liverpool style. I'm gonna go Scouse. <laughs> I'm in mud. I'm disgraced forever. I, I'm trying to reason my way through this, but honestly, I don't have enough cultural knowledge to have any sort of rationale for this. Um, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, s I'm gonna stick Scouse. Am I right or am I wrong? So this is kind of has a similar design to the Manchester Town Hall in that there are tall pointy clocks. Oh, I'm, you know what, I'm just looking for like if there's a Liverpool or a Manchester United flag desperately. I'm just hoping that someone's like hanging one out a window. Just make it easy for me. Oh. Uh. You know, I've honestly got almost no idea. I'm gonna say it's so it's it, it could be. I think a similar building to the Manchester one, but it's not a similar style. So I think because it's like, it's almost similar but different. I'm gonna go Scouse. You're absolutely right, mate. And do you know why it's pretty obvious that it's Scouse? Why is that? Because if you look in the top right pier, there's a liver bird there. Like, like at the very top. Yep. And, ah, and that is that it. is the Liver building. So, you know all the celebrations of us in the Champions League? Yeah, it was going past mm -hmm. there. Nice, nice. So, it's insane. Well, there we go, Jack. You have done very well, mate. You're you're basically an already a, already a scouser. Oh, I'm so excited. so excited. Yeah, Matty will be absolutely buzzing. I really hope to see him in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, this is a reaction video to Liverpool and Manchester. He should do a re like a, a Scouser reaction to the Americans. Like Scouse reacts to an American reaction. trying to be Scouse. <laughs> <laughs> right, Just mate. Well, farming content. congratulations. Anyway, you've done very well. Um, and make sure everyone at home to subscribe. And if you want to see Jack try some like English food or something, we'll send some over to him <laughs> or something like that. Um, but yeah. Hey, next season, COVID permitting, I would love to make a LFC transfer in real life with the boys in England. Exactly, mate. COVID permitting. Hopefully. We can ho only hope and pray. But anyway, lads, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I do hope you did enjoy it. If you did, drop a subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I will see you in a bit, lads.